Getting on the water with the fish tracks one sees is easy. Simply install four AAA batteries, connect the transducer cable to the display, press the power button, and you're ready to start finding fish. A quick note about batteries. We recommend Energizer Ultimate Lithium Batteries. We have users who get several full days of fishing out of them. For the best balance between cost and performance, we recommend high-performance rechargeable batteries. Do not use cheap, unbranded batteries, as the performance of your fish finder will be negatively impacted. The Fish Tracks 1C has three menu tabs, Sonar, Setup, and Advanced. Pressing the menu button, we'll scroll through the tabs. Let's begin in the Sonar menu with the sensitivity setting. Select a higher sensitivity setting to show smaller sonar returns on screen, or a lower setting to remove clutter from the screen. Adjusting sensitivity also affects how sonar returns are identified, as more fish target symbols will be detected at a higher setting, fewer at a lower setting. We always recommend using the auto setting until you are familiar with this setting. For the depth range setting, we suggest using this setting on auto. But if you want to display sonar echoes at a set depth range, then manually select it here. The upper and lower limit settings gives you greater control over the depth range. This feature lets you stretch the display in almost unlimited combinations. While ice fishing, it may be necessary to set the depth range manually, then offset the top and bottom of the water column with the upper and lower limits so that you maximize the amount of screen available to display the sonar echoes. This feature cannot be accessed when the depth range is set to auto. The Fish Tracks 1C Fish Target feature displays fish icons and a numeric fish depth reading instead of traditional sonar echoes to help identify fish. You can toggle the Fish Target feature on and off in this menu in the Fish Symbols depth setting. The depth cursor consists of a horizontal line with a digital depth box on the right side. The numbers inside the box show the depth of the cursor. Use this setting to show depth of screen echoes. Turning the simulator to on is a great way to familiarize yourself on what to expect while using the fish tracks in the field. It mimics bottom structure and fish readings to help you better understand what objects and fish look like on the display. Please remember to turn the setting to off when finished. The backlight setting will adjust the brightness of the display. Only adjust this to the level you need to see the display clearly in conditions. The backlight at 100% can draw a lot of battery power, so if you find yourself having to change batteries frequently, try lowering the backlight. Using the volume setting, you can adjust the volume of the alarms and key presses. The unit setting will allow you to switch the readings from English to metric. The chart speed setting adjusts how quickly the sonar information is displayed on the screen. The lower the setting, the greater the detail and the longer the battery life will be. Turning the fish alarm on will sound an audible alarm when fish are detected. You can select the size of fish you only want the alarm to sound as well. The fish alarm only functions when the fish symbol setting is set to on. The shallow water alarm will notify you of shallow water by sounding an audible alarm and flashing depth alarm on the display. The battery alarm setting will sound an audible alarm and flash the battery voltage readout in the data mode when the battery voltage is equal to or less than the setting. The transparency setting Adjust the transparency of the menu boxes. The keel offset setting is used to adjust the depth readings displayed by the device to compensate for the depth of the water required for your vessel to operate safely, typically referred to as your vessel's draft. The sonar chart setting allows you to change the background color of the display readout from white, blue, and gray scale. The white background is ideal for bright light conditions the blue background for low light condition, and the grayscale setting will provide the longest battery life. The surface clarity setting adjusts the filter that removes surface clutter noise caused by algae and aeration. The lower the setting, the more surface clutter will be displayed. 
The Fistrax 1C has a built-in noise rejection system. This system constantly evaluates the effects of boat speed, water conditions, and interference, and can automatically filter out clutter to give you less false readings on the display. This setting is especially useful while ice fishing, as it will allow you to dial in the sonar so that you can target your fishing jig. We hope that this quick orientation video has whet your appetite to learn more about the advanced features of your Fish Tracks 1C. Here at Hawkeye Electronics, we strive for 100% customer satisfaction. If you have any issues with your fish finder, extensive support is available 24 hours a day at support.norcrossmarine.com. If you can't find a solution, use the links in the support portal to contact us. Now get out there, wet your line, catch some fish, and enjoy your freedom.